All right, so the first part of the SCX10 build deals with the differentials. So let's get started on that. All right, so the first thing we have to do is open bag A. Bag A. We have um, some gears, some bearings, some, um, what are these, axle shafts or something like that, drive shafts, and uh, different parts like such, and some screws. All right, so the first part of this build deals with the axles. And as you can see here, I've already assembled the front axle and greased up and everything. It's all assembled. And it's pretty much the same as the rear axle, so I'm just going to show you that right now. But this is what it's going to turn out to look like, basically. Alright, so first things first, we start off with this. I believe it's the bevel gear. And so. I learned this the hard way. What you have to do first is you have to get this little uh, little kingpin or something like that and slide it through there and then you pop this on the top. Then you get this little washer thing, you guys can see, it's a tiny little thing. And then you put it like, you put it on there and then you just get a piece of uh, some pliers. You get one side of the thing, or one side of the on one side of the thing, and then you just click it together like that. There we go. Like that. And now just zoom back in. Alright, so that is that out of the way. That's taken care of. And then you are going to want to next build the differential. So here are the items needed for the differential. And then you're going to need to go into your bag of plastics. Bag of plastic, plastic one. And you will remove this, which is the diff locking case. So, what you do is you get this, the diff locking case. You put the uh, heavy duty differential in there. This is solid metal so it just pops right in. It's nice and solid. And then what you're going to do is you're going to get this plastic washer and I found the easiest way to do it is to put it on this gear itself like such. And then you get the four screws right here. You get the four screws. Alright, so once you have your four screws and a screwdriver, this black and, black and decker pivot plus is what I use. It has a measuring tape built in, which just pops right out. And it pivots, so that's nice. You get this piece, and then you line it up with these holes on the for the diff locker. And then that kind of pops into place like that. Then I like to put it like this. Line up some screws. Skitties. I don't know why I'm saying screws. <laughs> I just like to make sure they're nice and set in there. And then I get the screwdriver and um, I said screws so many times that I can't even say the word correctly. <laughs> and then so what I like to do is just Get this like this and pop that in and then start tightening. There we go. It is done, my friends. That is a differential. And then what you want to do next is you want to get these, which are solid axle dog bones. This are this is for the rear axle. Because I already have the front axle done, so these are for the rear, ax rear axle. The front axle have has dog bones on them, or yeah, have dog bones. And then, so what I'm going to do with these is get some handy dandy thread lock right here, and uh, I'm going to bring a, a paper towel into the shot so that I just don't mess up my brand new bench. Which I've already done multiple times already, so. 
get some thread lock from Axial. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then what you want to do is you want to go on the ends of it and just really delicately put some thread lock on there. And then once the thread lock is there, you just want to... No, wait. What you want to do is you want to get... You want to get some of these small bearings. And you want to pop it onto both ends. Like so. Like that. And then you already thread lock this. And then you just pop it in like so. And then on the other side you do the same. Alright, so now that we have the axle or the rear axle greased, you want to take your axle, axle assembly and I just noted that I put the wrong bearings, I use the larger bearings and you don't use the smaller ones, and you just put the end bearings and then you turn it like this and pop it in nice and smooth and then once this is like that, what you want to do is you want to take the other half of the axle and make sure it's the right way first of all <laughs> And you want to put it like such. And when you do that, you, what you want to do is you want to get one of. Sorry for talking about the camera. What you want to do is you want to get one of these longer screws here. There we go. One of these longer screws. And you want to put that one on the top. Hold on. There we go. You want to put this one on the top half. And then you're going to use this to secure the part of the four link truss so sorry if I'm blocking your view here it's just hard to get a good hold on there we go that's nice and tight and then you get the other long screw there we go you get the other long screw and you just pop it on the end of your driver this is a magnetic tip by the way and then you just line it up and screw it you can see that's nice and secure. And then for the bottom, you use the shorter screws and you just slide it through there. And then you get these hex nuts and you put that on the back side. You get that all lined up. And then you get your screwdriver, pop it in there, and start screwing. And it'll automatically tighten up because there's a nice cutout for the hexes in there. And then you do the same thing for the other side. And then it's nice and tight and the axle is almost done. So then what you want to do is you want to make sure that the dog bones are nice and secure inside the differential. And then you want to get your end caps which I've already pre-greased actually no before you do that what you want to do is you want to get these screws these threaded ones and you want to secure the four link truss right here and right here and once that's done you want to do the same on the other side alright there we go and now that that's done now we get to the end caps, which completes the assembly process. I've already greased those. You want to slide this over the, the uh, dog bones and then pinch this so that it slides over the whole thing. And then it should slide all the way to the inside. And then you want to get these really tiny screws and get them on lined up with the holes. got to do the other side. Now that you have that side done, the other dog bone just pop right out. <laughs> so you just want to make sure that the dog bone is secure. And then you want to get the other end cap, which is right here, and pop that one over like such. And get this screw on there. I'm sorry if I keep, if I keep blocking the camera. It's just kind of difficult to do. And you want to get the last one. Alright, and there we have a 
two completed axles. The front one is basically the same as the rear one, it's just that you have to put on the C-hubs and the, uh, what are they, steering knuckles. So, uh, yeah. I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to like it down there and subscribe because this is only the beginning. This is only part two because part one was just the introduction. And so this is only part two and we still have a couple more parts to go. So if you want to see an awesome build project unfold, make sure to subscribe and comment if, if I did anything wrong <laughs> or anything like that. Just it helps me out. Make give get comment or yeah. I'm having trouble talking on camera right now. All right, see you guys next time on the next episode of RC Explorer. Hands in front of the camera. Okay. Jazz hands. Okay. See you guys next time. If you like these axles, you're gonna like even more what's coming up next. Bye-bye.